Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll present you with my first impressions of Acheron and also a quick kit overview. But before we start, I would like to point out that she has nothing to do with Kafka or DOT teams in general. She does want to be played with debuffers, but not actual DOT teams. With that out of the way, let's quickly go over her kit. She's basically an ability damage dealer with a unique gimmick where she does not use normal energy she has her own energy point system and whenever she fills up this energy point uh, system that she has uh, she'll be able to use her ultimate now let's go over her skills basic attack uh, just a normal basic attack nothing out of the ordinary you're not gonna exactly use this uh, at all now let's go over to her skill which is a blast attack and her skill will give her this energy point and also inflict a flower on a single target enemy but regarding this flower system and also the energy point system it's better to start with talent to explain further how this works so basically when any unit will inflict the debuff on the enemy target by using an ability Acheron will gain one point of energy and also she will inflict the flower on that enemy target this effect can only be triggered up to one time per action so you could use a skill and ultimate ultimate as a separate action and get two points that way as for the flowers itself you don't have to worry about losing flowers on targets because if the target with flowers would go away the flowers will be moved to a new target also for the flower itself it's not considered as a debuff think of it more like ratio wise man's folly type of quote unquote debuff which is not really counted as a debuff so where does she actually have a debuff as a nihility unit it also does come from her talent basically whenever she will use the ultimate she will deplete toughness of enemies regardless of weakness type and also debuff the enemy with uh, all type press reduction until the end of the entire ultimate as for the ultimate how it works it can be quite complicated to explain without showing so hopefully you'll be able to understand so basically when you'll be reach nine energy points you'll be able to activate your ultimate at your choosing and when you activate Acheron will perform a single attack on an enemy and she will remove up to three flowers from that target for each flower removed she will perform aoe attack to all enemies and after that she will get to use the single target attack from the ultimate again yes so technically you'll have multiple single target attacks where you within the ultimate where you get to choose who to attack and if you attack the targets with most flowers you will also perform an AoE attack afterwards based on the amount of the flowers removed. After you used three single target attacks within this ultimate, she will also perform a final AoE attack. This final AoE attack is quite strong as well. And do remember the talent where you reduce the enemy all type press and everything down is all active while she's within this ultimate. So that's pretty great, pretty cool. However, this ultimate does get improved further with her traces as well so let's go over to the traces so the first trace she will get her ultimate improved where she will have a damage stacking buff stacking up to three stacks and also lasts for three turns so it's gonna be very doable to maintain this trace buff and also she will perform six additional hits after the final aoe attack of her ultimate so that's gonna be even more extra damage think of it like argenti ultimate you know when Argenti does AoE and then he does six hits at the end the trace gives those six extra hits at the end for your ultimate which is quite nice and also this damage is counted as ultimate damage and this is very important because her ultimate does deplete toughness regardless of weakness type so I assume those six extra hits will work also like that as for her third trace yes I willingly skipped second trace because I want to talk more about second trace specifically so for the third trace 
points she will get immediately four energy points at the start of the battle and four inflicted flowers on enemies so basically in the opener you will get a very fast ultimate with acheron but then it will slow down as for your second trace it is very peculiar because you will require one slash two other characters following of the path of nihility to increase acheron basic attack skill and ultimate damage by 115 percent or 160 percent of the original damage basically this multiplier is multiplicative to the final damage value instead of being added as a damage percentage layer so it is very important that you do have two other nihility characters with acheron to maximize this damage and this is one of the things where it does make her sort of less free to play friendly because you do require two other nihility characters and not every nihility character is gonna work at its best i will tell you also what i I've seen so far what seems to work and what does not do remember these are first impressions after all but before that we'll also like to mention her stat bonuses she's gonna have attack percentage crit damage and a lightning damage boost so now with the kit overview out of the way let's talk about my overall impressions overall with my first impression Acheron does not seem to be necessarily a free-to-play friendly character her options are quite limiting because you do want to play with two nihility characters however i do believe they will most likely release future five star nihility supports that will specifically work better with her as for her light gun options they're also quite very very limited you don't have at all many free to play options the best option that you could go for is basically good night and sleep well but that's also a gacha light gun we'll see how it goes moving forward but as of right now she doesn't have that many free to play light gun options as for teammate options there are a couple options that will work and some of them will not necessarily work as we hoped so the most obvious options that will work foolproof it's Pella and silver wolf i would also like to point out that the light con nihility one that is called resolution shines the spurs of sweat the debuff itself from the light con will work with the talent of acheron so she will be able to apply the flower on an enemy and also get an energy point so that's pretty cool but you have to keep it in mind for resolution shines as pearls of sweat it will not debuff an enemy that is already debuffed by the light cone itself so always make sure you tag the target that is not debuffed by it and you get the talent triggered from acheron as for other nihility character options as i would say definitely gnifen will also work as a nice free-to-play alternative she does provide debuffs with her fire kiss and burn also sp positive if you want her to be so it's very nice actually however i'd like to point out that the fire kiss itself does not give acheron energy point nor flower stacks but gnifen basic attack or skill whenever you apply the debuff itself will work so it's still uh, usable as for the technique of black swan it will work if you successfully apply it you'll get the stacks of flower and energy points for acheron it seems that arcana detonations will not work and you will not gain any stacks uh, at all as for trace 2 of black swan the application of arcana whenever the enemy enters the battle will give you the energy point and inflict the flower on an enemy if it's successfully applied i also quickly mention her light con because it is quite a significant upgrade for this character and it does improve her quite further her light con does provide you with crit damage but more importantly it also provides with a, an additional debuff this debuff will basically allow you to deal more damage to those targets afflicted by that debuff and also will increase your ultimate damage additionally but yeah these were my first impressions of acheron she is very fun to play and more importantly i do like the team building process with this character but on the other hand it does suck because this is a gacha game with uh, gacha characters so having teams like that is not necessarily free to play friendly but we shall see how it ends up being and uh, as always i would like to remind you that i also do stream on twitch slash youtube every single day feel free to check me out and also the youtube thingy if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more on style content i wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video